Hello and welcome to my second episode um, about, well, history, science, what, whatever I kind of feel like talking about. I uh, do have a little script I'm going to have with me, so I'm kind of reading off to that if you ever wonder what I'm looking at at the side, so. Um, but uh, as I've mentioned before, I, I do kind of enjoy history, uh, science, gaming, um, shooting games. I, I love games like Fallout, you know, alternative timeline that takes place post-Cold War in which you could see the, the world in a different way. It could have happened, you know, very differently. And I love God of War. It's it's the lore and history of Greece and the Greece gods, or with the current installment, uh, the Norse gods, and games like that. That, that. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of story, and it it'll be fun to go over them. Uh, as a matter of fact, I do plan to soon have a um, video up on the first Fallout, uh, the opening of it. So, we'll be, we'll be going over that. Anyway. Um, also love the sciences. So, they have a lot of established uh, rules and ideas. You know, the law of gravity, the theory of evolution, relativity. There's, there's, there's a number of sciences to get into. <sighs> so, all, all, always interesting. Um, so, but in this video, I wanted to go over history. In particular, my laws, my rules for history. So with that said, let's uh, let's get into it, shall we? All right. First rule is uh, multiple sources. You you can't you can't go through history without sources. First person sources, primary sources, secondary sources. For, you know, it, it it all requires sources of some kind. And, um, with that said, it's always good to have multiple sources. It, it, it's interesting to have a story that one source says, and it's unique to read upon that, but if you can't find anything to corroborate it, then uh, it's best left B. It's it's an interesting anecdote, an interesting story, but without other sources, you can't really verify it. So, doesn't mean the information isn't valuable. It's just at that point, you can't really verify. So, multiple sources always good if possible. You want to look at information in the atmosphere of its time. Um, because different regions and different times are vastly different. It only takes a few generations for an attitude on something to change. I mean, seriously. Um... There's so many things that have changed in history. Had to take me a drink. <laughs> but, um, there's a lot that changes uh, from region to region in the world. And uh, the atmosphere and the tone of the time changes how you should see something. It's not that you shouldn't judge it by your own, your own uh, ideologies, your own 
personal set of standards, but understand that there is a set of standards that these ideologies came out of. And you can't judge it by yours. You, you, well, you can, but a professional judgment you can't make by judging it by your own standards. So, with that said, let's go on to number three. And try to, it kind of carries over from two, but try to look at history without a political or religious slant. Many a party in history have tried to um, co-opt something as their own. And it's not just history. Um, science has also had this issue, but history more so, because it's always, look how history says this. No. It's not there to verify or debunk your religious or political beliefs. It just is. That's history. That's what it does. It just says this was. <laughs> Sorry, but that's just the way it goes. It, it's not to be used for political purposes because many forms of politics have come and gone over time. So, number four history is ever changing, ever growing, ever happening. Um, in the sense that anything you do is history. You, you scratch an ear, you could sneeze. It's history. Not necessarily recorded, not necessarily important, but it's history. So everything is history. Recording this video right now. I'm creating history. So, it's kind of the idea behind that. And finally, I want to get to number five. And that idea is things can be learned even from those documents that aren't real. Fake documents. as well as verifiable factual documents tell something. So even even the fake documents tell us something about the era that they were created in. They were born out of an atmosphere of desperation or born out of an atmosphere of necessity. Why the fake document? Why the need for it? You know. And that, that's something you should always think about. So, every document, even the fake ones, have importance. So, with that said, let me go ahead and go over them one more time here. Just as a quick rundown. We have uh, multiple sources, as my number one point. Always good. Always a good a great idea. Number two, look at information in the context of its time, not through your own lenses. Not saying don't judge based on your feelings, but understand that when these things happened, there were other rules of play, there were other ideas, and so on. Number three, Try to look at history without a political or religious slant. It is not there for your verification and falsification, debunking, true or false. It, 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 it doesn't matter. It just is. And that's how it is. Number four, history, ever-growing ever-changing, 
ever happening every moment every second before we were born and after we die history will happen after the human race goes away and ceases to be history will happen stars blink out and just doesn't seem like nothing left out there history is still happening may not be packed full of you know interesting moments but history is happening and finally Every document, even the fake ones, have some level of importance. We can learn something from every document, every source, every bit of information. So those are kind of my five rules that I feel need to be paid attention to when you talk about history. With that said, I do want to add a thing onto the end of this video that I feel is important. <sighs> Educate thyself. Educate thyself. What, what I mean by that? Read. Study. Learn a new language. Educate thyself. Guys. Girls. All of us, we need a more educated populace. Learn. There is nothing wrong with bettering yourself through education. Absolutely not. So, always push to be a better you. Read in your meantime. Pick up and learn another language. It is always something to strive for. With that said, I want to thank you all for watching. You all have a good rest of the evening, and I will talk to you later. Bye.